Our group of te uh, food technology is uh, really international and we have uh, a lot of uh, women researchers. So our field of research is particularly interesting and attractive for women because we have uh, a lot of uh, lab work and uh, women in general are quite precise and accurate and in general interested in uh, laboratory and advanced uh, uh, analytical techniques. The University of Bolzano has a, a really uh, well-equipped laboratory. Since last year we have uh, a laboratory of NMR, which is Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, which is one of the most uh, powerful techniques in, uh, in chemistry in general and in food chemistry in particular. And uh, this is why we have uh, this uh, unique opportunity to use this for our research. In our lab, our laboratories, we work uh, in uh, milk authenticity uh, using uh, nuclear magnetic resonance uh, spectroscopy. Uh, uh, we do the uh, analysis in milk and its dairy products. There is a particular uh, fatty acid, it, it, it shouldn't be present in high milk, but non-high milk uh, products because it comes from the uh, silage fermentation. Uh, which uh, demonstrates the uh, silage feeding uh, in uh, cow's uh, feeding regime. And we uh, analyze the, we, uh, the determination of these fatty acids in uh, high milk and non high milk products. Uh, our research group is uh, working together with uh, pr uh, producers of, of food products in South Tyrol. We are helping to uh, develop innovative methods for food analysis and quality control to reduce the amount of waste and uh, to recycle this waste uh, specifically from agricultural products such as apples and grapes. Uh. Uh, at present, I am uh, dealing with uh, the antioxidant uh, from apple. Uh, so my uh, uh, aim is to see uh, after differing uh, uh, after different treatment whether the antioxidant uh, remains same or they decrease or increase. That's why we select uh, several cooking method and uh, based on a different temperature and time. After that, we will extract our uh, antioxidant and do several analyses to see how the antioxidant behave. I came here because of the freedom of choice and uh, wide possibilities for science and for research. Well, for me, research is a constant search <laughs> for something, and uh, I like that every day you know you, you get to know something new, and uh, you can dig in any di direction that you want. So yeah, your uh, hands are <laughs> free <laughs> to go everywhere. My research is uh, about understanding the behavior of the cream and improving its, its properties by reducing sugar and fat content, so to make cream for waffles healthier. Um, we, now we are working with DSC, which is Differential Scanning Calorimetry. It helps to understand the melting and crystallization behavior of uh, different uh, textures and matrices uh, so that we could understand, for example, the behavior of melting of some product in the mouth of a consumer. The aim of my work is to uh, detect and measure the quality of different types of foods, mainly oils. At the present, I am working measuring lipid oxidation in oils. 
and uh, there are aromatic compounds that are released from the oils and we have a specific uh, equipment that we use to measure these uh, aromas that uh, develop in the oils that indicate if the oil is of a wood quality or not. Uh -oh. Uh, food technology is really uh, important for each country because uh, each country is exporting, importing and producing food products and uh, this is why uh, professionals uh, and uh, in particular women uh, researchers in this field have a lot of job uh, possibilities in their countries and abroad uh, in the food technology field.